In this video, I'll show you how to create a dispersion effect using brush in Photoshop. So, let's get started. This is the model image and this is the brush we are going to use in this project. Open the model image in Photoshop. Now we need to cut out the model from the background. Take quick selection tool and make a selection of the model. Take your time to make a perfect selection. Once you have done, click on select and mask. Take the se second brush, refine edge brush and start painting over the edges. In the output setting, click on this and output to new layer. Now our model is in a different layer. Now let's name it model. Now we need to make the back background. So activate the background layer and hide the model layer for now. So in this background we need to remove this subject from it. Take the lasso tool and make a selection around the model like this. Now right click of your mouse and choose fill content error and hit ok. <coughs> Go to select and deselect. So now we have a clean background and model in a separate layer. Now take the move tool and move the model in left side like this ok. So now select the model layer and press ctrl J to duplicate it and now let, let's name it model and this one warp. Now hide the model layer for now and select the warp model warp mo warp layer and go to filter and liquify and take the first one forward warp tool and start warping the model like this After that, click on OK. Now we'll apply a negative layer mask. Hold Alt and add a layer mask. Now everything is hide under this layer mask now activate the model layer and apply a layer mask again now click on this mask model layer mask not the image mask and take the brush right click and select this gear icon and select load brush and select this brush you have downloaded now scroll down and you will find the brushes now take one of the brush you will like to use I am using this one and reduce the size now you can increase or decrease the brush size using bracket keys now make sure that your foreground color set to the black and
now click on the warp warp player mask and this time make sure that your foreground color set to the white and take the brush and start painting here make a variation of brush size okay so the effect is ready now let's apply adjustment layer click on this and choose gradient map and here you can find a lot of preset here I am choosing this one violet and orange hit ok and change the blend mode to soft light and reduce some opacity like 50 percent okay so this is our final output 